everybody, it's Jojo, and I'm here to do a Bath & Body Works haul. So, you know, normally I'm sitting down showing you guys the products, but I've actually seen a lot of people do this, where they show you the products just like on a bed or on a table, and they don't show their face. Um, I know I don't normally do this, but this is just a quick haul. I just want to talk about a few things just quickly, nothing like, I didn't want to make a big video about it. So I just want to show you some things I picked up and explain the stuff that I picked up that I haven't showed yet. So, um, well, first I got backups of the Trippy Berry Cooler Hand Soap. I love this stuff so much, so I needed a backup of this one. I got another backup of my Bubblegum Hand Soap. I love this hand soap so much that I got a backup of that. I got some backups of Pumpkin Pecan Waffles. I got two backups of Crisp Morning Air. I got four Marshmallow Pumpkin Latte Gentle Gel Hand Soap. So, I have to talk about this. I can't order these hand soaps online anymore. For some odd reason, they come, they leak everywhere all over the box and they don't seal the hand soaps anymore. They know, they usually seal these and put like a thing on here to seal it. They don't do it anymore. So one of them leaked. I don't know which one it was. I think it's this one, but one of them leaked and like a quarter of it is gone. So I may have to exchange one of them for another one in the store, but I do like the packaging with the latte and the pumpkin on it. So yeah, I got four of those. And then I got also a backup of my Wild Berry French Toast. I love this hand soap so much. And the pocket back I've been using too. Love it. Okay, so then, oh, and then I picked up this. So this is, this is new. These are like the, I've never gotten these. These look like a milk cauldron. So it is the gentle clean, you know, foaming hand soap refill. So I got it in the sweet cinnamon pumpkin. So it, three and a half uh, bottles it fills up. So I don't know why they didn't just do four bottles or just three bottles because three and a half is a little odd. But then I guess like it is what it is. At least you get like another half a bottle. But of course I would prefer four full bottles in one container or, you know, just three. But three and a half would make it, you know, you just want a full bottle. So it is what it is. I'll try to get as much as I can. I love this scent so much. I use this. I'm going to pour this in the Halloween hand soaps in Perfect Pumpkin. Um, but I do love this. I think this is cool, these milk cartons. I do like this type of thing. And it, you, it really is looks like a milk carton. So, so I've got to pick this up. But um, this was a soap sale, actually, by the way. So I got like all the soaps for three something. And then this was $10, I think. But they're normally 13 I think. So yeah. Okay. And then I picked up three of the pumpkin swirl cake shower gel. So I really wanted to talk about this because in my product review on this, and I've said this before, but each scent or each set of, you know, shower gel, cream, or mist of the scents could smell different. So this is the case for this too. They normally do smell different in all the forms. So this is pumpkin spice, caramel toffee, and creamy vanilla. So as I said, in the cream and the mist, um, in the mist, you got a lot of the spice, the uh, pumpkin spice or gingerbread spice, I called it in my review. But I definitely got a um, holiday, you know, like a, a full spice, whatever you want to call it, with the cake. In the cream, I just got more of the bakery notes. In the shower gel, surprisingly enough, because I was like in the cream and the mist, you didn't, I didn't get any of the caramel toffee. In the shower gel, you get nothing but the caramel toffee scent. It's crazy. It smells like a completely different scent. It's crazy. This smells completely different than the shower gel. I mean, excuse me. This smells completely different than the mist and the cream. The shower gel is completely different. So this is, I get no pumpkin spice or creamy vanilla or any cake in this. I really only get the caramel toffee. It is odd that they only put the caramel toffee in the shower gel note, in the shower gel, or maybe they put all the notes, but for some odd reason, the shower gel, you only pick up the caramel toffee. I don't know. But I just thought I would say that because I was like, damn, like that is odd that I only get the caramel toffee in the shower gel. That's all I got get in the shower gel is the caramel toffee note. I do like it. I also pick up a little coffee note in this too with the caramel toffee. It's weird, but that's what I'm picking up in the shower gel. So I just wanted to let you know if you're wanting the caramel toffee note in one of the in the pumpkin swirl cake, I would get the shower gel because the shower gel is where you pick up the um the caramel toffee. I got three of them. These came free. 
this is free, completely free. Like I got three free coupons on my app and these came, you know, each of these were free. So I paid not a, a, not a cent for any of these shower gels, but I do like it. I prefer the mists and the cream, to be honest with you, but I do like the caramel, you know, toffee notes. It is what it is. But as I said, that's all I get off of the shower gel and I get a little like latte coffee note as well with the caramel toffee in the shower gel, but that's on that. Now I did pick up this mist in the Bridgerton Diamond of the Season because you know what, I've been was spraying it multiple times in the store throughout the last couple of months, it's been out. And I never bought it, it was finally on sale, you know, for the semi-annual sales, like five something. And I was like, I have to get this. It smells so good in the mist. Like I don't like it in the candle, the shower gel, the cream. I love it in the hand soap form and the mist because as I said, each form smells different. Um, I don't know why, but Bath and Body Works does not make the scent smell the same in all forms. It will, it smells different in all forms. 90, 99% of the time you get a body care scent, it's going to smell different in the shower gel, the cream, and the mist. It is what it is. Um, but this is Kinosa Sparkling Peach Spring Daffodil Radiant Jasmine. So in the mist and the hand soap, I get a sparkly bubbly peach. Um, it's fruity. And then I get a little bit of the floral. I think it's a really nice, sweet, peachy spring scent. And um, yeah, I think it's, I like the scent a lot in the mess. It's really, really like a peachy, perfumey no, like scent. And I, I love it. Um, and I love it in the hand soap form. Now in the cream, the shower gel, and the candle, unfortunately, I, I only pick up. It smells like a peach cleaning product. It's just very off-putting. I don't know why they didn't get the notes right in those forms, and they only got the notes right in the mist and the hand soap, but it is what it is. I do love the fragrance mist. I, I had to get it. I had to get it. So it was only $5, so it was on sale, and it's very strong for a fragrance mist. The Bath & Body Works is actually pretty strong. Um, it's really nice, and I really am obsessed with that. I, I do love that scent. I may do a separate scent review on this, in the next few days. I was contemplating not to do it because it's been out for a few months now so people won't care about it, but I still might do it. Okay, but that's all I wanted to talk about um, with this haul. It wasn't much, but I, as I said, I really wanted to really just touch on, again, the Gentle Gel Hand Soap, some odd reason, they, they come with no seal. So just letting you guys know, if you, you order Gentle Gels online, just know they're gonna come, they're gonna leak all over your shit. <laughs> so I wouldn't do it. The foaming's still fine to order online because they don't leak, but these leak. And I was, I, this is the first time I ever got this milk card and hand soap things. So I was really intrigued for this. I really love the Sweet Sun Pumpkin hand soap scent. So I, I love it. So I'm I'm really, yeah, I'm down with the hand, the, 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 these hand soap dispenser things and the milk card ones. I love it. So I'm glad they brought these out. And then I love the scent in this mist. And then I also want to tuck on the shower gel. This was this really surprised me. This threw me for a loop because I really thought I was going to get, you know, what I normally, you know, similar notes to the mist and the cream. But as I said, you have to always take in consideration. Always remember that the shower gels, the mist, and the creams can all smell different. They all pick up different notes in different forms. That's just, just the way Bath & Body Works does it. I don't know why, but that's just how they do it. So there it is. So I love you guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this haul. And my next Bath & Body Works haul is definitely going to be the Halloween one because the Halloween preview is coming J July 19th, so in a few days, I want to say. Um, it's going to be, you know, you're going to get a, the, the sneak peek on your um, app. And then a few days later, it's going to open up in stores, the Halloween stuff. So I'm really excited for the Halloween stuff. Um, yeah, it's, it's, it should be good. It should be, I mean, the Halloween stuff is really exciting. I heard really bad things about the candy apple cauldron scent. I heard that it smells like a fresh apple. And the the notes made me think of Beautiful Day because it had like the green apple and it had like a floral note. And that reminds, you know, those notes are like similar to Beautiful Day. So I hope it doesn't smell like Beautiful Day, but I heard that the candy apple cauldron smells very fresh and not as sweet. So I may just pass on that scent altogether. I might not even get anything in that scent. So we'll see. Um, but anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed. And I'll see you next one. Bye.